And it, yeah. it was across the board. We all felt the same way that the visuals were unlike anything we've ever seen. We would watch it again just to marvel at the visuals. But story wise, it's it's almost unforgivable when you had that much time to put together a story with three writers to have a story that just makes you shake your head so many times. He's talking about me and his mom's porno. Just Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. If you haven't seen it, it's good work. The the story is terrible, though. Terrible, uh, yeah, uh, absolutely. That's not terrible. what you go. But the, uh, but the score, it was yeah, the yeah, score. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, the foley work brown, I did afterwards was a lot, cow, a lot of fun. Yeah. The foley work, wow. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that was in macaroni the porn. in a pot. Uh, Got some wet <laughs> today. We got a, a video. This is how India's modern day royals are staying relevant. So something I didn't know we needed to know. <laughs> so, well, obviously, India. How India's modern day royals are staying so relevant? India had, I don't care. Had, I think it's just showing you. <laughs> how it is. It's more of just an informational video about royals. Because obviously, I think since obviously independence in, um, I think they said the 70s. Yeah. They. Wait, no, the independence was in the 40s. No, I'm saying for the royals. Ah. They stripped away all royals. Anything, whatever they had. Right? Is that why they haven't done so well each year? Yes. In Major League Baseball, the Royals, Kansas City Royals. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. So, how India's mo- uh, here's I'm some. Guess, I'm guessing we'll who, find out who who are the modern I'm day Royals. We're gonna find out. Here we go. Because I'm thinking modern day Royals. I think about the Royals of like England. Shah Rukh Khan. How does it feel like to be a modern day king in India? Um, first and foremost, uh, my question is that uh, do such things exist? Exactly, that's <laughs> my question. What does that mean? Did you know there were kings in India? Royal families in there India used to be, yeah. Now? And privileges in 1971. 50 years down the line, there are still many royal families known in India for their. I knew bloodlines were. Like, that, that's probably what it is. Saif Ali Khan. Their weddings their homes, or even their multi crore legal battles. What's even more fascinating is what they say or what they do still make news. Without titles or any defined power or position, why should it matter what these erstwhile royals think about news events or ongoing controversies? And yet, it does. But why and how are modern day royals making a living and staying relevant in India today? Brooke spent a day at one of the oldest and wealthiest royal properties in India, the city palace of Udaipur. It's a big palace. Gulab bag hoke, fatih pool dal dijiye, fatih pool se park kar. So, this is it. Yes, really intriguing. You're driving on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> this palace is many centuries old. Once the bastion of the great warrior king, That's Maharana Pratap. Massive building. <laughs> a part of the palace is open to the public for a glimpse into the history of the Mewar dynasty. Another part is still inhabited by the royal family. I had no this idea. Part of the palace is called the Shiv Nivas. Now a luxury hotel property. It is here that in 1961, the monarchs of Britain, Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip, spent two days. They were visiting the then king of Udaipur. And now she's dead. You might have also seen the palace in the 1983 James Bond movie. Oh, nice. We were accompanied by Lakshirat Singh. His website says he's a scion of 1500-year-old house of Mewar. I wish we had rain. Today, a room on the property starts from 9,000 rupees and goes up to 45,000 rupees per night. Damn. The Mewar clan was one of the pioneers in converting their palaces into heritage properties. 
the heritage industry. You know, the heritage hotels are, are coming back. There are people who are a lot more passionate about it. Uh, they want to deep dive into it, to experience it, to come uh, and to see it firsthand rather than just limiting themselves to films or books. These days, heritage hospitality is not an excuse for bad, bad hospitality. When Indira Gandhi stripped the royals of their privileges, it dealt a blow to coffers of most of the royal families in India. Faced with the challenge of sustainability, many royal properties since then have converted into heritage hotels. The greatest uh, ideology, thought process and interest has been uh, to be able to uh, get the money back and to put it back into the property and to make it uh, you know, sustainable, uh, keep it alive. And, and I think uh, the important part of it is the fact that, again, something that my father believes in and has been doing is living heritage. It's not a dead monument art. In 1971, the then king of Udaipur, Maharana Bhagwat Singh Mewar, converted their summer home, the Lake Palace, into a heritage property. Sandra, However, check we've seen that. Transformation from being the royals to hoteliers was not easy for the royal family. Uh, no, Maybe it's a different one. It's a different one. They lacked professional skills to manage the business. Hence, Bhagwat Singh approached the Taj Group of Tatas to operate the hotel on a lease basis. Would you think there is still an obsession about uh, living like luxuriously, like the royal life, which is also attracting uh, sorts of sexual? No, definitely. Uh, I, I, it's, it's not something that I don't like. It's just something that I would want to put in perspective. You know, Madam, you can see this royal kapla. Yeah. Yeah. So what is it that he is really describing? At the end of the day, he is really describing the quality, he is really de describing an attribute or a trait uh, or a personality or a character or an expectation that is there. Could be from a cloth or could be from a person, could be from a building, could be from a car. An image of Sudha Murthy bowing down to a royal family sparked a debate whether earlier forms of showing respect for symbols of hierarchy still exist in the world's largest democracy. Of, uh, archaic protocols still in place in the royal families in India? There's a general uh, uh, respect that I think is exceptionally important mutually. Right. It's not something that is a one sided segment. You know, this is something that needs to be uh, be, be aware of, of from both ends. And I think, uh, and I think giving and taking respect, I think, is a beautiful gesture for humanity. Beyond philanthropy and hospitality, the other ways that several royals across the country are striving to stay relevant are heritage and environmental conservation, the age-old practice of joining politics, or diving into the entertainment industry. Creation from their heritage to find relevance, revenue, and respect. Modern day royals fascinate me because I don't understand it, mm -hmm. right? Maybe it's just because America is very unique. <laughs> we specifically <laughs> were like, I don't want this. <laughs> Our origins began with royal? Yeah. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Right. <laughs> Here's your tea. <laughs> Uh, American joke, if you don't get it. Uh, anyway, so it's just like like British is royals, right? Right. Obviously, they're only there because of tourism. In in they, they've basically stripped of all their uh, basically actual power. Right. And they're symbolic. Right. And a tourist attraction, right, right. which is probably why they're still around. Right. Because they have no respect anymore with who's king right now. <laughs> Uh, and Netflix series that come out that make Piers Morgan really mad. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the fact that, I'm, and I've talked to British people as well. They're like, yeah, nobody, nobody really gives a shit yeah. about them. Right. They're just they're old people in funny hats. Michael they're, loved the Queen. Yeah, he really did. Micah, Fuck since that he was colonizer. since he was since he was a little boy, Micah had this fascination with the Queen. I'm glad that she passed away when he was older. It would have broken his heart as a little boy. Yeah, but I just, I've never, just obviously like this, obviously they're, they're just trying to stay relevant by selling out their but palaces essentially to... This is kind of a encapsulation, the video itself, of the way, at least in my perception, royals of any ilk from any place are. When all, was, all is said and done, I still don't know a thing about the royals. Yeah. No, no, like that, that video, I talked to a guy who oversees a palace that belongs to a royal family. Maybe that's essentially, I didn't maybe that's essentially it. Is that yeah, it's like... There's not really any... Yeah. There's not really anything behind it. I, I, I was of the impression... There's only one king in India, and it's Shah Rukh Khan. That's true. 
And King Coley. Sorry, two. Yeah, there's, there's two. two. There there's are two. two. Um, in fact, I don't know who it was. was on Joe Rogan, but was trying to open Rogan's eyes to how powerfully large the following is behind Coley because mm. he had no idea. He said, he said to him, you think our American athletes have a lot of followers on Instagram? <laughs> he says, look at Shaq. Look at LeBron. He's like, okay, yeah, he's looking at LeBron. He said, go to Instagram and look up Coley. Joe opened it up and he went, holy shit. <laughs> 250 million followers but anyway the i i like we know that Saif ali khan has royal bloodline mm. i thought that was basically it i i thought that the royals have this just the story of the fact that i have the relation to the royals and the majority of the royal palaces that date back far have been turned into these things but that the actual families didn't hold positions of power other than maybe now they have money and they have used that money now to further entrepreneurial and philanthropic yeah. things. Yeah. Is there a... I in the same way that Britain has a royal society, does India still have royal society in segments the way that the Brits do or any other place where you think of a society of royals who no longer hold the political power of office because it's a democracy, but they hold power because of their influence and their money? No idea. And I thought this was going to yeah. teach us that. You guys can let us know. Um, but uh, very happy that most monarchs are gone. <laughs> no person should have all that power. Well, uh, they're gone figuratively. Figuratively. Because Elon Musk is a monarch. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, but anyways, you guys can let us know any other information that we need to know. Uh, down in the comments below and any other videos that could explain yes. anything more. Yes, teach us! Down below. Just